Okay, so I'm still here with Paul. Paul has the Tycam 750LR. I have Pulsar's entry-level thermal imager, which is a HSQ19. That has a lot more buttons than this does. Tell me about some of these buttons. Um, there's an array of things there. It does, yeah, it's got a vast array of features. Well, starting from the top, you have a mode which switches from black hot to white hot. Okay. Um, you have a laser emission, so this will emit a red laser for targeting. Yep. Um, you have edge enhancement. Now, edge enhancement mode um, defines the edge of the object you're looking at. So if you're looking, there's various heat sources and there's one of a D, for example, and amongst the other heat sources, you can define edge and you'll see more detail. Okay. Um, you have a GPS, so this device is built in GPS. Um, video recording, so yep. you can record footage. Compass, so you can tell where you are when you're using it. In case you get um, lost, yep. yeah. And gain control, plus or minus, or you can press both together and auto okay. gain. And that's just the top of the tie cam. Okay, so already, yeah, there's a big difference between this and the tie cam. Underneath we have... Yep, we've got lots more controls. <laughs> you have um, your digital zoom, so okay. you it's a little motor, so you push, push up to zoom in, yep. push down to zoom out. The same here, you have um, a, a motored focus, so yep. you focus, hold down. Yep. Okay. Yep. Yep. Um, you have standby mode, you press the button to go to into standby. You have your um, a switch where you can switch between dim display and bright display. Dim display for covert surveillance, so there's no glow coming from there and you have your on and off button here. Okay. You've also got underneath to activate your laser. Yep. So that'll, that'll turn your laser on and off. And you've got various output ports, um, USB to connect to your PC, and a video port if you want to connect composite to a television, for example, you can run an external monitor from it as well. And it fits to a tripod. It fits to a tripod. Yep. Um, and you have, uh, obviously, the option for an external power source yeah. as well, but it runs on AA batteries. You have a AA battery housing What's in What's the here. battery life on that? About eight hours, from four eight AA's. Hours. From four double A's. Yep. Um, I, I must admit, when we've been testing it, <laughs> the batteries don't run out. No. I'm going to point out the battery life on this. Believe it or not, we've just gone through all those specs, and if you can keep up with us, the battery life on the Tycam is actually a lot better than the battery life on the HSQ19. We've got to be honest about these things, haven't we? Yeah. Both use um, four double A batteries. And so. both use four double A batteries. Uh, let's, let's put it in perspective. That's more like a Lamborghini, this is more like a Mini Cooper. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, the HSQ19 is, is an entry-level thermal yeah. imager. You've still got to think, it's still over £2,000. Oh. It's still a lot of money. Yeah. And for a, a, a vermin controller or someone interested in wildlife, I up do. to 450 yeah. metres, yeah. it'll do the job perfectly fine. Uh, and obviously, there's a big difference in size, whereas yeah. that floats and... Uh, you can put it in water and it's, uh, what was it, waterproof for three, yeah, it'll 30, float. 30 minutes, It'll is it? float yeah. and you can, yeah, it's completely waterproof. But one thing we've got to remember, if, if you're looking at a fox, for example, with this at 200 metres away, you'll see a heat source which is remotely fox-shaped. With this, you'll be able to tell what it had for breakfast. And count its whiskers. Yep. <laughs> well, there you go, folks. That's the Thermotechnics Tycam 750LR. Uh, it is really is at the top of its game. Um, we had fun testing it and it's available, as I said, from Scott Country International.